Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? Yeah, fine, ma'am. Okay, very good. Yeah, fine, thank you. Are you ma I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. My dear students, in the previous session, we have started with... What? Lazy it's your turn students. to tell me. With the lesson, lazy students. Lazy students. We have started... Started or completed? Completed. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. We have completed with the lesson the lazy squirrel. So it is time for us to begin with a new lesson now, right? It is time for us to begin with a new lesson. So I request everybody to be on page number. Let me just check the page number. Yes. Page number 36, 3636. Page number 36. Page number 36. Okay. And the new lesson is actually a poem. Yes, yes. Please keep your devices muted. All of you. The new lesson, that is lesson number six, is titled The Cow. The Cow. Okay. Now it is textbook, my dear. I have already sent a message in the morning itself, right? Okay. Page number 36. The title of the poem is The Cow. What is the title? The Cow. The Cow. The Cow. Okay. Very good. So let me share the screen. Uh, while the board gets loaded, I request everybody to be on page number 36. Later on, I don't want anybody to ask in between. When I'm giving you the instruction, you have to listen to it very carefully. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. Ma okay. So now you have to tell me what sort of an animal is the cow? What sort of an animal is the cow? Very good. That is such a simple question, right? The cow is a domestic animal. Yeah. Literature textbook, my dear students. Please check the messages regularly. Okay. Yes. So what does the cow give us? Milk. And... Milk. Cow gives us, us milk and meat. And meat, yes. Cow gives us milk and meat. What does the cow give us? Yes, the cow gives us or cows give us milk and meat. Okay. Milk and meat. Meat, yes. Milk and meat. If you say the cow gives us milk, that also is more than it. Cow gives us milk. Okay. So let us go ahead and read the poem. Okay. Before getting into the poem, I want you to introduce you to a very famous person. A very famous person. I want you to have a look at the screen. Look at the screen carefully. Yes. This person is Robert Louis Stevenson. I request everybody to keep their devices muted and repeat the name after me. Robert, Robert. Louis, Louis Stevenson. Stevenson. Once again, Robert, Robert. Louis, Louis Stevenson. I already told you, instructed you to keep your devices muted, right? Because if everybody reads together, just imagine how much noisy the classroom will be. No, that is not done, right? Then we won't be able to understand what we are trying to learn here, right? So better to keep your devices muted and repeat the name. Once again, we will do it. Robert. Robert. Louis. Stephen Sun. Stephen Sun. Yes, Stephen Sun. This eminent personality, this great famous personality, is the poet of this poem, The Cow. Now, 
who amongst you all here is ready to tell me what is the meaning of the term poet? Poet, who is a poet? What is the work done by poets? Who writes poem? Yes, a person who writes poems is called a poet. A person who writes poems is called a poet. So, who is the poet of the poem, The Cow? Robert Louis Stevenson. Stevenson. Yes, very good. Robert Louis Stevenson is the poet of the poem, The Cow. Okay, what is the name of the poem that we are going the to learn? Cow. The Cow. The Cow, yes, very good. Okay, now... There are many, uh, this is not the only poem written by Robert Louis Stevenson. There are, num there are a number of poems, other poems, short stories, essays written by Robert Louis Stevenson. But in some of them, the names, the name, his name may sometimes be printed as R. L. Stevenson. R. L. Stevenson. So you need to understand that R stands for Robert, L stands for Lewis, and Stevenson remains the same. Okay? So R. L. Stevenson and Robert Louis Stevenson are one and the same. Understood, my dear students? Yes. Yes. Okay. So no need to think that these are two different people. They are one and the same person. Understood? Yes. R. L. Stevenson and Robert Louis Stevenson are one and the same. Now let us try to understand a few important facts about Robert Louis Stevenson. First and foremost, he was born on 13th November 1850. Okay, so this is his date of birth. Date of birth in which the first number 13 is the day he was born, the date, the date he was born, okay? November is the name of the? Month. Month, very good. And 1850, 1850 is the? Year. Year, year yes. So which year. year is it going on currently? 2021. 2021, you're right. Okay, so? What, uh, when was uh, Robert Louis Stevenson born? 13 November 1850. Long back, right? Long, long back. Okay. And he died. Robert Louis Stevenson died or he passed away on 3rd December. 3rd December 1894. 3rd December 1894. Okay, now my dear students, please understand that this is extra information that I'm trying to give you. There is no need for you to write it down or learn it. This is just some extra information that I'm giving you here about the poet of the poem. Okay, is that clear to you? No need yeah. to learn this. This only you have to just understand. Okay. Now, as I have already told you, there are lots of other work done, very famous, well-known works of poetry or other written work, literature-related work done by or given to us by Robert Louis Stevenson. Some of his very famous poems are A Child's Garden of Verses, My Shadow, the lamp lighter are a few of his well-known poems. Got it? Poems. Whereas short stories, coming to short sto stories, The Body Snatcher, Oh La La, are some well-known short stories written by the same person, R. L. Stevenson. Uh, which poem is this? The Cow. Now we are going to learn about the poem the cow. Okay? okay. Okay. Now we get into the poem. Understanding the poem and its content. 
what it is trying to tell us. As we all know, this poem is about the cow, the which cow. is a domestic animal, and it milk. gives us milk, milk as well as meat. meat. Milk it gives milk. us milk and meat. meat. Okay, good. Someone, may I please mute your device? Yeah. I request Daksha Lakshmi to read the first stanza of the poem. First stanza of the poem. Okay, ma'am. The friendly cow, all red and white. I love with all my heart. She gives me cream with all her mind to eat with apple tart. To eat with apple tart. Okay, very good, Daksha. You have Thank tried to read it very clearly. Thank you. Thank now. you, ma'am. The friendly cow. The word friendly tells us that this cow about which we are talking about, talking in this poem, is a very friendly animal. That means it does not attack us or hurt us. It behaves in a very gentle way with the people. Behaves in a very gentle way. But my dear students, does any of you have any pet animal at home? Or maybe a domestic animal? Not a pet, not necessarily a pet. Mom, I have. Yes, I'm in where? What? Have. Yes. We have cows. You have cows? Yes. Who has cows at home? Yes, I have cows. Cows. Cows, cows. cows. I have. Who is this I? I? Please say the name. Okay, Samanvaya. Okay, very good. Hasra also has. Okay, now I request everybody, just those who have pets, please raise their hands. Don't ask, don't speak together. I will not be able to understand. Yes. So Hasra, how do you take care of them? Do you help your parents in taking care? Yes, ma'am. Yes, how? May I know how? I put water for the cows. To drink? Yes. Yes, that's a very good thing. Okay, good, good. My dear students, I know that all of you are very small kids. Still, you must try your level best to help your parents in taking care of the animals. Because being kind and gentle and responsible at the same time towards animals is a very good thing to be done. Right, we should always be loving and caring towards the animals. Because can they ask us if they need something? Can they ask us? Maybe by using some gestures, they may be. But not like us, right? We human beings, God has given us the ability to speak and inform about our needs to other people. Right, we are able to communicate. But think about the animals. Are they able to communicate? Maybe in some short way, some small gestures and all they can do. But it is us, we, who are taking care of them. We must take care of their needs, all their needs, and try to be very gentle and caring towards them. And remember one thing, if we are gentle and loving towards them, then only they will behave in the same way with us. Okay? So, my dear students, the word friendly cow, friendly, it shows that this particular cow was very gentle and loving towards the human beings. Why? Think about it. Think about it. Why? Because the people who were taking care of her were also very loving and caring towards the cow. So that is why she also learned that and she also reciprocates in the same manner. Did you understand, my dear students? So it is, the, it is applicable in the same way with all the animals. We need to be very gentle and caring towards them. Then they will also respond towards us in the same manner. Understood? Yes. Are you able to relate to it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So the friendly cow, all red and white. Now, what color is the cow? Red and red white. And white. Have you ever seen a red cow? 
No. no. Even I have not. No. But I'll tell you. Why are the colors red and white mentioned here? Oh, what happened? Just yeah, give me a second. Ma'am, we will mix the we get brown color. Okay, okay. One second, one second. Color. Color. Brown. I request everybody to mute their devices, please. Let me share the board again. There was some technical snag in between. Just give me some time. Okay. So much I've noticed that in the image, the body of the cow is white in color. Did you notice that? Yes. Yes. The body of the cow is white in color, whereas it has some colored patches all over its body. Did you notice that? Some cow have black. Those colored patches are those uh, yes in the image we can see that it is brown in color but according to the poem this color has a complete white body with red colored patches on its body okay what is the color of the patches on the cow's body red color these are the patches see I'm trying to draw the outline. Brown. Yes, did you see the white body of the cow and the patches? Yes. Okay. Yes. The image it is brown, I'm but as white. per the poem, I request everybody to mute their devices, please. Okay. White color body with red patches. That is the reason it is mentioned here. All red and white. Okay. I love with all my heart the poet the person who's who has written this poem is saying that he loves the cow a lot with all my heart means the poet the person loves his cow a lot why she gives me cream with all her might what does the cow give to the person give to the poet the cow gives the cow gives cream with yes all her cream with all her might so what does the cow give to the person to the poet cream cream, cream. but just uh, think about it what does the cow actually give us milk milk yes the cow gives us milk and from that milk we can take the cream out we can get the cream from the milk do we get the cream directly? No. We have to take the cream from the milk. That we need to understand, right? This is poetic language. That is the reason it is mentioned here. She gives me cream with all her might. Now, the word might, M-I-G-H-T, might means strength. The cow uses all her strength and she gives us milk from which we can get the cream with all her might means using all her strength all the strength in her the cow gives us milk from which we get the cream and how does the poet use the cream <laughs> to eat with <laughs> to eat with Apple tart. Apple tart. Very good. Tart. To apple eat tart. with apple tart. apple tart. My dear students, have a look at this image. This is apple tart. It is actually a sweet dish. A sweet dish made using apples. Apple tart is a very sweet dish made using apples. Apple tart. Okay. Is it clear? apple tart so what is the poet or how does the poet eat the cream poet eats it with apple and tart apple tart yes the poet eats the cream with apple tart okay very good very good thank you very good now i want zera to unmute and read the second stanza are you clear with the first stanza of the poem Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mute. Yes, Zera, continue. She. 
Wonders. Hmm. Flying. Wonders. Wonders. Wonders flying. Hmm. Hmm. Her. Not her. H E R E. Here. Here. Here and there. Hmm. Here and there. Hmm. And yet. And yet. And yet she cannot. Cannot. Can not. Cannot. Cannot. S T R A Y. Stray. 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 All in the. All in the. Plant. No. Pleasant. 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 Open. Open. A I R. What is A I R? Air. 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 Hmm. The. Hmm. Plants. The pleasant. 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 The pleasant. Yes. Light. Of. Day. Hmm. The pleasant light of day. Okay, very good, uh, Zera. You have tried to read it very well. Thank you. Now, my dear students, now we are in the second stanza. We are going to understand about the daily routine of the cow. What all does she do in a day, from morning till night? What all activities does the cow do throughout the day? That we are going to understand in the second stanza of the poem. She wanders. W a n d e r s. Wanders. The meaning of the word wanders is to move from one place to another place. It can be any place, right? Without any reason. Without any reason. Ashif, please sit straight. Wanders means to move from one place to another place. Without any reason. Now, my dear students, think about this. When we have, when we go to some place, we always go for some purpose, right? Some or the other work we have, right? We come to school to study. We go back home because we stay there. If we go to some other place, we have some or the other reason for doing that. But the cow, it just wanders from one place to another place. Sometimes she wants to eat good grass at some other place, so she goes there. But sometimes she just goes here and there without any reason. So that is the meaning of the word wanders, to move from one place to another place without any reason. That is called wanders. Understood the meaning? Wanders. Okay. Now, lowing. The next word is lowing. My dear students, tell me. Uh, I'll ask. I'll ask one by one. That's it. So, Hasra, put the device properly. Prithvi, unmute and tell me what is the sound made by the cow? Meow. Is it meow? <laughs> Come on. Create moo. Yes. Yes. The cow. What sound does the cow make? Moo. Yes. Yes, the moo sound made by the cow is called lowing. Mm. lowing. Sometimes the cows keep on making that moo sound, right? No. Come on, show me once again what is the sound made by the cows? Moo. Mm. <laughs> is made by some other animal, right? Yes. What is that? Goat. 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 Yes, goat. 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 Okay, enough. Goat. Enough, enough. Yes, I know everybody loves to have fun. But we will do that in between. We will definitely do that. Okay, but not all the time. Okay, yeah. So, what is the meaning of the word lowing? Lowing. 
the sound made by the the moo sound made by the cows is called lowing lowing okay okay so what does she do she wanders lowing she's wandering all the time moving from one place to another place without any reason without any reason and what is she doing all the time while moving from one place to the other place what is she doing all the time she is lowing lowing she keeps making the sound moo and she keeps going on from one place to another place without any reason okay from here and there means from one place to another place and yet she cannot stray and yet she cannot stray stray the word stray s t r a y stray means to go to one place and not come back or not return to the place you belong does the cow ever do that no oh. she goes to different places even without reason she moves from one place to another but she makes it a point to come back to her own place by evening what does she do she definitely goes here and there but by evening what does she do come back she always come back. comes back to her place. place okay her own home now my dear students tell me the name of the place where the cows live Shed. The yes, very in good. The if there are cows which are kept, some cows are kept in farms and all, but in the farms also a shed will be uh, created or constructed for the cows to live in happily. Right. So this cow, she moves here and there, but by evening, she always comes back to her home, her own shed. Okay, that is the meaning of stray. She cannot stray. She never does that. She always goes out and comes back to her place by evening. She cannot stray. Cannot stray. Okay. All in the pleasant open air. Now, we have learned many things about the cow. She goes here, she goes there. She keeps on lowing, but she comes back. So all these activities she keeps on doing in the pleasant open air. Pleasant, pleasant. Something that makes us feel happy is called pleasant. It can be anything. It can be a book, a small pencil, a drawing, a beautiful scenery. It can be a movie, a song, a dance. Anything. It can be anything that makes us feel happy. Is said to be pleasant. Pleasant means something that makes us feel happy. happy. Yes. Something that makes us feel happy is said to be, what is the word? Pleasant. 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 Yes. So, why now did you understand why does the cow keep moving from one place to another place yes why yes. without any reason why because doing that makes her feel happy happy, happy. all happy. in the pleasant open air happy. all these she does in the pleasant open air. She just enjoys moving in the fresh air, moving from one place to another place. Open air, fresh air, fresh air. It makes her feel happy or pleasant. Okay, the pleasant light of day. She also enjoys the very nice light of day. So, do you remember what time of the day does the cow move out here and there? Does yes, she go at yes, night? Yes. Does she go at no. night? No, not no. at all. She never strays. By evening, she comes back to her home. Right? Okay. Yes. All this moving, lowing, everything is done by the cow only during the 
very good light of the day, day time. Okay, the cow enjoys doing all this only during the day time. Day time. So, what is the meaning of the word pleasant? Pleasant. What is the meaning of pleasant? Making sound. Making sound. No, pleasant. Happy. Something that makes us feel happy. Something that makes us feel happy is called pleasant. Pleasant. Okay, very good, very good. So may I stop sharing? May I stop sharing? Yes, okay, very good. Now, did you get an idea about the poem? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now I request everybody yeah. to mute their devices once again. Yes, Abel Saju, unmute and read the first two four lines, please, once again. Everybody has the book with them, right? The friendly cow, mm. all red and white, I love with all my heart. Mm. She gives me cream with mm. all her might. To eat with apple tart. Mm. Once again. The friendly cow, mm. all red and white, I love with all my heart. Mm. She gives me cream with all her might mm. to eat with apple tart. Very good, very good, Apple. You have read it really well. Okay, well done. I wanted everybody to hear the way uh, he was reading it. Did everybody listen to it? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Ishan Krishna, I want you to read the same stanza once again. The first one. Mom. Ishan Krishna. Others, keep your devices muted, please. Mom. The friend cow mm. red and white. Mm. I love mm. all my heart. Okay. Okay. Gives me Mm. Cream with mm. all her might. Mm. Oh. So it is, it is. Okay. Your voice is breaking in between. To Read the last two lines once again. Mm. Cream with mm. all might. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. Apple. Apple, not apple. Apple. Apple tart. Apple. Apple tart. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay. Ashwajit, please read the second stanza. Ma'am. Hmm. Yes, Ashwajit, read the second. Ruff on mute your device. She wonders. Hmm. She wanders, not wonders, wanders. Wanders. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Ashwajit, read. She wanders. If you are not able to read any particular word, read the spelling. Read the spelling, my dear. L O W I N G I N G L O W Lo I N G Ing Lowing 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 Her and Not her Here 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 and there and mm. hmm. what happened? Yes. Sure and there then and hmm. read the spelling, my dear. Y E T Yet. Yeah. Yet. T yet. Yet. Hmm. Cannot. Hmm. 
Stray. Stray. S T R A Y. Stray. Stray. Mm. Okay, then. All in the. Hmm. Yes. Yes, my dear, continue. Read the spelling. P L E A S A S T. Mm. A bit louder. P L E A S A N T. Pleasant. Pleasant. I already explained something that makes us feel happy is said to be pleasant. Pleasant. Ple something that makes us feel happy. Pleasant. Pleasant. Open. Hmm. Air. The A I R. Air. Air. Hmm. Pleasant. Hmm. Open air. Then. Read the last line. L I G H T. Light. Light of day. Light of day. All in the present light of day. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Ashwajit. Please practice reading regularly. All right. Yes. Okay. Now, my dear students, let me just check. Ryan Ramis is there. Ryan Ramis, are you there? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, May I raise your hand? Ah, uh, yes, your video yes, is off. Are you facing network yes, issues there? I have the video. I have uh, net issues. Net issues. Okay, fine. So you must inform the teachers in that case. Okay, right? Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, ma'am. Mm. Okay, that's it. Rose is there, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, rest. Yes. yes. Okay, fine. So thank you very much, my dear students. We'll meet you in the next session. I request everybody to go through the both of the stanzas of the poem today itself. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.